Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is net operating losses, or NOLs. What is it? NOLs are negative taxable income on the tax return. When tax deductible expenses exceed taxable revenues. No tax is payable in the year and net operating loss occurs. It doesn't make sense to pay tax when you don't have income or to pay income tax when there is no income. The, the tax law permits an NOL to be used to reduce taxable income in subsequent profitable years. That's what happened all over the place. So not only here in the US, but in most of our countries. Uh, and NOL carry forward, so I will pay less tax in the future, creates a deferred tax asset. So it is just like any deferred tax asset. Then NOL tax benefit should be recognized in the year the loss occurs. Here in the US, it, uh, NOL do not expire. So you can use it as for the next 20, 30, 40 years. There are some countries uh, such as Brazil that expires in five years. So check your local law if you are not in the US. They can be carried forward indefinitely until they are used here in the US. Companies in the US are limited to offsetting a maximum of 80% of taxable income with NOL carry forward in any given year. And then, if you are not in the U.S., check our local laws about the percentage of taxable income that can be compensated. So let's go to our Excel file. And here we have the same Excel file for deferred tax liability, deferred tax asset, permanent difference, and multiple temporary difference. We have videos about that. Uh, they are in our video description. So check it, check it out later as well as this Excel file. All our Excel files are free, and the link to download it is in our video description. And by the way, subscribe our channel. You will be the first, the first one to know when a new video arrives. So what do we have here? A classical example of the Fury Tax asset. During 2020, its first year of operation, Skype Incorporation, my faith company, reporting an operating loss of $120 million. So here, net operating loss, $120. So, a tax rate of negative 30. That doesn't make sense. Uh, and so how do we do on the first year? Later, we will go to the second year. We have the NOL carry forward. And so we have nothing. Here, future deductible amounts, negative 120. So, we have $30 million of tax that we will pay in the future. So, what do we have here? We have a deferred tax asset. And how do we do that? The same for tax. Step one, tax payable. No tax payable here. Step number two, the fuel tax ending balance. Our ending balance will be the 30. So the fuel tax asset change, 30. That is, how do we find this change here? Ending balance less beginning balance, 30. And the tax expense plug, 30. How do we do that? Uh, we have here, if you tax asset, the 30, that is the change, and income tax expense to balance it. So 30. So here we have a negative tax expense because we have a credit. There are some countries that call it income tax revenue because they assume that there is no negative expense. So again, Check our local laws. Here in the US, we credit income tax expense. No problem about that. So this is the first year. Let's go to the second year. 
During 2021, its second year of operation, Skyping Corporation reported pre-tax income of 100 million for financial reporting and tax purpose. So we have no other difference. So here, pre-tax income, 100. So if we have no compensation here, we would pay $25 million as tax. So let's do it. However, Scrappy is limited to offsetting 80% of income with its NOL carry forward in any tax year. So we are able to offset 80% of this number. So negative 100 times 80%. So 80, we still have future deductible amount of 40. Why? Because we had 120 at, on the previous year. We use 80 now, so we still have 10, uh, 40. So my enact tax rate, 25%. So our deferred tax asset ending balance will be 10. And now we have in, uh, tax payable. That is five because our taxable income is 20. And guys, pay attention. This is the new tax law that started on 2019. Before that, we have a, an old tax law with different rates, different uh, offsetting, and we have some backward refunds and so on. It's all over now. So we don't have anything like that yet. And if we had and losses in 2018, we, we can get some refund until the end of 2020. So that is almost ended. So we will not be covering that, okay? So here, tax payable, five. Deferred tax asset ending balance, and how much the change? 10 less 30. Negative 20. So if it is negative 20 and we are talking about assets, this 20 will be a credit. So tax expense, what do we have here? The fewer tax asset, 20, credit, tax payable, five, income tax expense, that is our tax expense plug, is the number to balance. So it's the sum of 20 and 5. 2022, if we have another income, we are able to use this 40. However, we have the top limit of 80% of taxable income. So if we have taxable income of 60, 80% is 48. So we are able to use 40. However, if in 2022, our taxable income is 20, 80% of 20, 16. So we are able to use only 16 and the ending balance will be used next year and so on. Okay. So guys, thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarpin.com. Like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. We have a new video there every day. Have a very nice day and God bless you.